everyone. Welcome to Layers, a lead code style platform for system design. In this video, we are doing a walkthrough of the platform, not just to show you how to use it, but to help you use it correctly and effectively. We see hundreds of design being created on Layers every day, and that's just amazing. But there's a pattern we have noticed. The designs are mis missing something crucial, the properties of the components. A design isn't just complete because the boxes are connected. It's complete when each component clearly states what it does, how it interacts with other parts of the system, and what responsibilities it owns. The context is what makes our design interview ready, and that's exactly what we'll walk through today. I'll give you a little insight on why we build layers in the first place. So for DSA, LeetCode gave us a great platform, but for LLD and HLD, most of us just watch YouTube videos or memorize blog posts. You might know how someone built a URL shortener or a cache system, but when you are asked to design something unfamiliar, that playbook breaks. Layers fill, the, fill that gap, giving, giving you real problems and interactive design canvas. We even have the LLD practice in the pipeline. So in this video, we'll walk through one of the most common system design problems, the URL shortener. We'll show you how to approach the problem on layers and how to use the design canvas effectively and how to add properties and responsibilities to your component. So your design isn't just functional, but interview grade ready. Let's take a quick tour of how components, properties, and connections work inside the platform. First, let's talk about the components. These are the building blocks of your system, like API gateways, servers, databases, caches, and more. Every component comes with a set of built-in properties and a space for custom properties. So taking an example of this DB component, uh, we have properties like uh, DB engine, replication strategy, uh, schema builder, and in case uh, you fall short on adding properties, we have custom properties. So anything that makes the role of this component crystal clear. The more detail you provide, the stronger your architecture becomes. Because when each part knows its job, your whole system becomes easier to reason about and easier to evaluate. To connect components, just drag, uh, drag a connection between any two components between the that that creates the edge and you can customize this edge by clicking on this connection you can edit the label so this can be something like a uh, short url generation request you can customize the style and the type as well these connections define how data flows and that flow is what turns a bunch of boxes into a working system now, for something special, meet the composite component. Think of it as a cluster or a microservice. A logical group of components that work together. You can drag and drop regular components inside this uh, composite component to represent its grouping. It perfectly shows the bounded context, service isolation, or deployment units. And like everything in layers, it's fully customizable through custom properties. Define your own structure, purpose, and metadata, there is no limit. So for example, how we have defined this keygen service composite component, we have added one custom property on the internal working of uh, this, uh, this composite component. So just in case you fall short on adding a component that is essential for your design, that's where the custom uh, component comes in. So use it to represent anything, uh, an external API, a third party integration, a scheduler, or even an AI service. There are no predefined fields here, just custom properties uh, that you define. It's your wildcard. Fill in the blanks and give it purpose in your uh, design. It's like create your own X. With components, properties, and connections, you are not just drawing boxes, you're describing behavior. You're making architecture explicit. So take your time and the add the details. Every connection, every label, every property makes your design more real, more robust, and more ready for production. Now that we've built our URL shortener design, let's see how well it performs under evaluation. Layers doesn't just let you design, it analyzes your architectural score, scores it, and provide actionable feedback to help you improve. Let's see how we did on the assessment. Okay, we okay, we scored a 6 out of 10. That means we've got a solid foundation, but still have a good scope of improvement. Let's uh, dig into what Layers agent thinks about our design. One strength that is highlighted by the agent is our use of a circuit breaker pattern. This ensures that our service handles downstream failures gracefully instead of cascading them. Small additions like this shows depth in our design thinking, especially around resilience and fault tolerance. A key weakness uh, noted 
there is the lack of details around database sharding and load distribution. This is critical, especially for a service that could grow to billions of URLs. If we don't explain how write and reads are distributed, our design might not scale well uh, under load. Um, the good news, we can immediately engage in, uh, with the layers agent to improve this. Let's just paste this feedback into the chat and ask how we can improve. So the agent suggests defining the shard keys and exp explaining about the uh, routing logic, specifying replication and uh, failover strategy, all of which can now be added directly to our uh, to add to the design as custom properties to our database component. As we add these details, we are not just patching a design; we are clarifying the intent, reinforcing scalability, and strengthening our architecture for real-world evaluation. 